All right guys, welcome back to the channel. So we finally got the boat out on the water. I was trying to film the startup for you guys, but there was a train that was blowing right past me. There was no way that, I couldn't even hear the motor running. So we finally got her out on the water and she is running like a top. Now I ended up mixing some Quicksilver two-stroke oil in the gas and it's supposed to be low smoke oil and it is really really worked well it doesn't smoke nearly as much as it did when i had the oil injection and so it might have been running rich most of the time that i had it and i definitely know it was running rich in the winter when i had that oil injection so she's running smooth now everything is all dialed in and uh yeah i'm out on the portage river hopefully going to try and catch some fish there's a couple spots that I wanted to hit that I've hit my 14 foot boat, um, but there's some past them that would have been a really far ride on my little boat, especially when it's windy to try and get to. It's a little windy today. It's like 12 mile an hour winds, but yeah, I'm gonna run, run up the river and see if there's any good spots, try and catch some fish, but boat's running good. So let's get on with it. to the first spot it's just this little channel right off of the river um, starting to come down here a little bit it's real muddy uh, a little bit of a current so we're gonna see if there's a little slack areas and stuff to try and find some bass there's really good cover on this side there's rocks over here and then there's a bunch of docks and stuff up in front of me so we're gonna see what happens try and get after some fish catch you guys on the GoPro Not a giant. Stuck him right in the top of the head. There you go. There you go. Not huge by any means, but he was hungry. Fat little guy. Easy buddy. Spot number one, one fish. It's real muddy in here. It's just hot, muddy water, and it's hard to catch some fish. So we're gonna run up to a different spot at campground, and I haven't fished it before. It looks promising. Hopefully we catch something in there. If not, boat run, boat's running good, you know. Feels good outside, so let's get going down there. Once again, not a big one, but right up on the bank, black and blue bandito bug. It's just hot, hard to find fish, but it looked like a good spot. Tossed right up, got a bite. All right, dude, see ya. All right, well, not a bad day on the water. Just nice to get the boat out, make sure everything's running well. The new lower unit definitely shifts smoother than my old one. I don't know if it has different gearing in it or something. I gained a little bit of uh, speed on it as well. I shouldn't say new lower unit, new to me, because it's, no, it's an older lower unit as well, but everything on it works great. Um, everything seems to be running well, so I can't complain. Glad that everything's back in working order. 
caught a couple fish. It's really difficult this time of year, just with how hot it is. The water was 83 degrees. It was, it's 86 out right now and it rained this morning. So it's super humid, really sunny, and the water was really muddy. So basically a lot of things working against me. Still able to get a couple in the boat so I can't complain. But I appreciate you guys watching this video. If you guys like this video, please make sure to subscribe for more content like this. Like the video so that more people can see it. Check out the Too Many Hobbies podcast, and we'll catch you guys on the next show. Please don't let me into my zone. I just need some time on my own. All these people trying to get a conversation. You can conversate to that tone. Oh, my God.